Hello everyone, welcome back to High Mathematics, happy to see you here. A really interesting exponential equation today, we have x to the x equal to x cube. And we need to find, of course, right here, we need to find our x. How can we solve this interesting problem? I hope you see by inspection, so x is equal to 1 will be root right here, because 1 to the power 1 equal to 1 cube, which is absolutely correct, because 1 equal to 1. So as you can see by inspection, as x, x equal to 1 is our solution. But moreover, if we can see closely to this one, we will have that our x equal to 3 will be our solution as well. We will have 3 cube equal to 3 cube, which signals us that 27 equal to 27, which is absolutely correct as well. So as you can see by inspection, we find our two roots. But what about all roots? Maybe you find more roots right here. So this, this does not work right here. This math is not about inspection. We can see root, but what about the proof that it will be one and only root or more roots? So let's try to solve it. First of all, let's divide both sides by x cube. We will have x to the power x over x cube equal to x cube over x cube. Of course, x is not equal to zero. So from here, we need to know that we can cancel this nominator and denominator and we will have that our x to the power x over x cube equal to equal to 1. And right now we need to know one really, really important rule right here because if we have a to the power x over a to the power y, so if we have same basis but different exponent, we can either write it as a to the power x minus y. So we subtract this exponent from this one. If you're talking about multiplication, we add it, but if you're talking about division, we subtract it. So let's go next. What will have as a result? We'll have our set of equation looks like that x, x to the power x minus 3 equal to equal to 1. So this is how our equation looks like. And take a look closely. This equation is looks like, if you're talking about the series right here, this equation looks like a to the power b equal to equal to 1. So we have base, we have a, a different exponent right here. But what about the solution to this to this uh, equation, if you're talking about general solution, about the theory? So the first case, a is equal to 1 when b is real number. Real number. And it's absolutely correct. Doesn't matter about the power. If a is equal to 1, then all equation works. Second case, if b is equal to 0, then a don't need to be equal to 0 because then we will have 0 to the 0 power and we will have undefined answer. And the third case, if a is equal to minus 1, then b need to be even number, even number. So as you can see, if we have minus 1, b need to be even number. So let's check all of these, all of these cases right here. So we have this equation. Let's go with the first one. If x but a equal to 1, so if x is equal to 1, b need to be a real number. But in our case, x minus 3, which are talking about the power, x minus 3 equal to 1 minus 3 equal to minus 2. So as you can see, minus 2 is real number. So our first root, we prove, finally we prove our first root. This is a proof algebraically, but this is with this with theorem right here. So our answer, answer, x first, equal to 1. But let's find more roots right here. We find right here that x equal to 3. Let's let's prove it. So second case, we have that b equal to 0. Our b is our power, so x minus 3 equal to 0. Then a don't need to be equal to 0. And from here, we will have that our x equal to 3. And our base, moreover, is not equal to 0. So this rule, second rule, is completely good for us. And we find our second answer, x equal to 3. So our x second will be equal to 3. And moreover, we prove it, we find it by inspection in the beginning. So this point is good for us. This case is good for us. And let's find the last one. That Let's check it. We have that a equal to minus 1. a is our base. So our x is equal to minus 1. And let's check it. We need that our power need to be even power. So x minus 3 need to be even power. So x minus 3 need to be even number, but x equal to minus 1. So we will have minus 1 minus 3, we will have minus 4. And minus 4 is even power. So our, our third case absolutely works right here, because minus 4 is even number. So we find our last root, x equal to minus 1. As you can see, we cannot find it by inspection, but x equal to x3 equal to minus 1 is almost 
is always our our root right here. So three root. Maybe you have another solution to this problem. It will be really nice to read it. And of course, thank you so much for watching, for subscribing. I really appreciate it. It inspires me a lot to make a new content. It helps me a lot. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos. Have a great day.